So now, Resh Lakish says, so now we know if he's an idol worshiper, if he's a missionary, if he's uh, all types of things, he's not part of Am Yisrael. Plus, Resh Lakish says, if he doesn't learn Torah, he also has no share of the world to come. So his Rabbi, Rabbi Yochanan says, Ay, you're right. Rabbi Yochanan says, you're right. But why'd you say it, he said. Why'd you say it? How are we going to get Ami Israel free? Not everybody learns Torah. So Resh Lakish comes to Rabbi Yochanan and says, I have a piton for them. I have a, a way out for them. How? Obviously, they have to keep Torah and mitzvot. But what if they don't learn Torah? What's learning Torah? You have to make some time to learn Torah in the morning, a little bit of time at night to learn Torah. No one says you have to learn 18 hours a day. You're not Rabbi Zev. But you can learn an hour in the morning. You can learn an hour at night. You do your business honestly. You're an ethical person. You don't steal. You don't do the things that are forbidden. You don't go to the beach with uh, naked girls over there. You don't go and drive on Shabbat. You don't go to uh, mixed dancing parties. You don't do the things that are outright forbidden. You're fine. But if a person says, no, but I just want to do halfway. So how come the financial statement, you don't like it that it's halfway. The financial statement, no one's happy with halfway. No one's happy that they're not the billionaire. So Resh Lakish says, the pitaron for the people, the solution for the people that are not learning Torah is at least to invest in Torah. Invest in Torah. They take certain money, they invest into Avrichim, into Kolels, to help other people to learn on their behalf.